So as you can see, the button at the side is pushed back in once you turn that wee knob at the top back to position. Now if you find this button is opened during the winter in cold weather and the button won't stay in, it's because the van is too cold. If you run your heating either on gas or electric for about half an hour, that button will eventually stay in once you try it again. Um, that button will also pop out once the temperature goes down to 2 or below. As I say, it's a safety measure. Once it hits a certain temperature, that button pops out and releases the water from the boiler to stop pipes cracking and busting from the frost. The rear bed. That just pushes up and rams to access that frost valve. Your boiler is also on underneath that cabinet. That white bit of timber is an extension for your table. So that just clicks into place. Um, to run your water from the start, once you fill up, there'll be air in the system. So simply run your taps. As you can see, you can hear the, the pump running. It will take a few minutes then for the water to come through. Once it pushes out through the air, hold it into the middle position. And that pushes air out to the two, the two pipes, the hot and the cold pipes. And eventually it will come. But it could take up to 3 to 4 minutes. For your toilet, this sink swivels. There's a wee catch here holds it in place. So release the catch, pull the sink right around, and you have access then to the toilet. To operate the flush, you see here, there's a wee flap at the bottom of that opens and closes. That releases the contents onto the cassette. If that flap is open, you cannot pull out the cassette. So always make sure when you're pulling out the cassette from the outside, that this flap is closed. So to fill up your toilet, simply press this blue button. Press it twice. And pull the button, pull this lever, release the contents into the cassette, and then close your flap afterwards. These lights here indicate when your cassette is full. So this one lights red whenever the cassette is full and it's time to empty. In the wardrobe is a trap switch for your 230 volt. So anything to do with 230 and the van operates through that. Um, you see the breakers are sitting up at the minute, so if you have no power on something on your 230, like the van's not charging, your fridge not operating, just check them breakers aren't pulled down. The van's leisure battery is underneath the driver's seat. So to access that, the driver's seat has to be screwed out. And your fuse board and battery charger for the leisure battery is located underneath the passenger seat. There's a hatch at the front. That hatch there just pulls down and you can have access to all. Your reversing camera. Once you put your van into reverse, it automatically comes on. You can keep it on at all, at all times. Just keep the power, there's a button on it for the power button. Your electric step, um, the button for it is just inside the door there. But once you start to run the ignition or start the van, a buzzer comes on in the van to let you know the step is still out. So this is a safety precaution if the step isn't already in before you start the engine. So your waste tank has a lever underneath. It's simply this square hex key that goes onto this rod. Turn anti clockwise and release the contents. It goes turn clockwise. 
geen gebestoord aan zijde waren.